interpreters, Jack and Justin. Um, Jack and I have known each other for... And Marley. And Marley, obviously. <laughs> Actually, Marley, how long have we known each other? <laughs> well, uh, we've known each other really a long time, a long time, probably than we actually realized. Uh, do you remember how we met? Do you remember when we met? Yes. You yes. do? Actually, let me tell you. Let me tell the story. Yes. Okay, go. Ready? Ready? Okay, here we go. So uh, we were in the, um, uh, it was a bar, it was called the Columbus Bar and Grill, and it was the night of uh, this crazy award ceremony that we went to with my old boyfriend who won that night, and William Hurt, and Michael Douglas, uh, Raul Julia. Yes, I knew it! Yes, and so uh, we got into the bar, it was like one in the morning, and I was a little bit sort of buzzed, but anyway, uh, more than necessary, really. Um, and we walked in, we sat down, and someone comes up and says, hi, welcome, what would you like to drink? And I looked, and I was like, what, E.T.? <laughs> no, I was so thrown, it was you, all of you, this big, this big, and William Hurt flipped out when he saw you because you guys did a movie together. Oh my gosh, so he so played- mad. He was he, mad. That's right, in fact- oh, That was the problem. Did he, I, did he hold me up? Yeah, I think he did. Yes! You were this much. Yeah. Because I played his daughter in Altered oh, State. I know. And yes, he treated me like his daughter. That's right. I, well, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, he was mad at me and he held me up. Yeah. It was a very interesting journey since then. It's been an interesting journey since then. But since that moment, I remember many times and many years feeling very comfortable and safe with you. Which... Me too. The world wasn't always so comfortable and safe. I know, I know. But when I was with you... Yeah. I'm, I'm, I appreciate that. You said that. And I was so excited to see you. And I love this film so much. And Troy, first of all, your performance is so beautiful. And I loved that you had watched Marley win the Oscar for Best Actress. Um, is that 1987? Five years ago. Yeah, exactly. Around that time, I was a senior in high school. So you can do the math and figure out what my age was. 35 years ago, 35 years ago. What she said. It was the first time I saw authentic deaf representation on screen in Children of a Lesser God. It really inspired me and I felt connected and it really gave me hope as an actor to pursue acting. And so I continued for many years as an actor and it led me to get to this point. And it's been truly amazing to finally work with Marley. She's just a foot away from me right now. And I never thought that would happen. Well, and you have that chemistry. And Troy, you're making history now yourself as being the first deaf actor to be nominated. And... Thank you. Love you all. When you see this film, this is a no-brainer, but how is the full circle moment being next to Marley, who inspired you back then? Well, it was such an interesting timeline for me. So Marley was very young, won the award, and I was inspired, and I remained true to my vision. I was patient with all of the frustration and politics and oppression and all that, and finally reached this point looking at her. I finally feel like we understand each other. We are able to share this journey and this experience together and help each other out and help Hollywood to begin to improve opening their minds 
to begin thinking outside the box and all those types of things. Because deaf, the deaf community has so many stories to tell. You know, for Troy, I think, I think knowing after 35 years since I won the Oscar, and I've seen so much, and I've plowed through all the... I mean, it's been an interesting journey, uh, really a wonderful one. But at the same time, compared to might have, you know, what might have happened in the past up to now, I think now more eyes are open, more ears are open, more people are aware of our community, of our culture, our beautiful language, American Sign Language. And there's a lot more opportunities. And yet there's still more work to do. But one thing I've been seeing is there is more collaboration. There are deaf actors, directors, writers who are working with those of us in the business who happen to be working with us. So we're collaborating. And I think collaboration is the key these days.